So today at Glacier National Park, we're gonna take a trail called Iceberg Lake. And here we go. Part way up, it splits off and also goes to Ptarmigan Tunnel. And uh, the one we're doing, Iceberg Lake, it's a five mile out, five mile back. So away we go. Before you come to the junction, whether you want to go to Tarmigan Tunnel or Iceberg Lake, you come to a pretty waterfall. Just barely see it through the trees. And above that, there's a nice cascade. And this all comes out of Tarmigan Lake. Well, we have success. Made it to Iceberg Lake. So let's see if we can have a successful toe dip in Iceberg Lake. Oh, that's cold. I'm trying to find some flat rocks to stand on. Man, that was frigid. I don't know if I was even in there for 10 seconds. My toes and feet were frozen. So just gonna sit here, relax a bit, and then head back. Today we're gonna take a hike to a series of lakes. Uh, first one is Fish Cap, and then there's um, Red Rock, Red Rock Falls, and Bullhead Lake. And we're hoping to see some moose. On we go.
that first lake that we came to was Fisher Cap, and that's where we saw the moose. It's fun standing there watching the female eat and walk. And uh, we continued on short distance, and now we come to Red Rock Lake. And you could see a small waterfall in the distance, which later on we're going to come up to, and it's a really beautiful falls. So let me show you this lake. There's the falls in the dis distance. To get down to Red Rock Falls, there's a spur trail. So you just wind through the brush a little bit. And pop out onto a beautiful falls. For the afternoon, we decided to take a walk. We hiked over to Many Glacier Hotel, and here is the front of the hotel. The hotel was built and opened in 1915, and over the years, it's gone through several renovations, but the interior still remains that rusty classic look. The back side of Mini Glacier Hotel faces Swift Current Lake. On Swift Current, they have some kayak rentals, they have a boat tour, you have a path that goes all the way around Swift Current. I think it also attaches to uh, Josephine. And then the rear of Mena Glacier, the windows open out to the lake itself. They give wonderful views. We've been in those a few times and it's just wonderful uh, even to wake up in the morning and look out upon that. Hey everybody. It's day 23 of our get out and wander journey. And we're using today as a prep day. We're getting our backpacking gear all set. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna head out of the campground, head north, cross the Canadian border, drive to Waterton, then catch a boat 
to Goat Haunt. And Goat Haunt is where our backpacking journey starts. We'll have a few nights in that area and looking forward to all the fun that we're going to have there. So we're getting our food ready. Just a random sampling here of what we're going to take. Got some cheesy chicken broccoli, cream brulee, powdered eggs, tuna, there's some chicken spread. We make some of our own cereal up. Take some chocolate. And of course, Twizzlers and peanut M&Ms are in there somewhere. So, adventure continues and see you tomorrow. Yeah.